So just a lap. Uh, yeah. Fresh out the gym. Uh, uh, I might flex on the gram. Uh, yeah. My low in my boots. Yeah, yeah. This is no Tim's. Uh, yeah. A few in the K. Uh, yeah. Hit the cut off the scams. Uh, yeah. Yo, what's going on, my boy? Man, nothing, man. Just sitting up regretting some things that I let get into to tell what I feel like is just being comfortable in a relationship and, and, and regretting giving a, a woman the much as much power as I gave man. You know what I mean? Because we all give uh, a woman in, in a relationship, how we dictate how they, how they act is, it's based upon how we make them feel comfortable and what we let them get away with. And they feel like once you allow, that's just like if a female uh, allowed you to come into the relationship calling her bitches and hoes, well, it can only go up from there. It can't go down because right. you already started calling the bitches and hoes. So when you allow a female to come into the relationship, you paying bills in your place or whatever the case may be, and they come in, they not paying no bills. They don't feel like they ever have to pay bills because you never set that tone. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when I when I left Minnesota to come back down here, I already had a family. But I, you know, out him doing what I'm doing, I I end up falling in love with a younger female and end up getting her pregnant. So you know, once I left my family, you know what I'm saying? I made an understanding with with my with my other chick. Like man, look, nothing changing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna stay paying the bills here. But I got to go to Chicago. I got to help my mom out. And I'm going to be gone for a while. So this was my test to see if I was going to be able to have this relationship with this new young woman with these brand new beautiful twin babies I had. And say, look, if I can go down here to Chicago, show her a good time, show her I'm there for her, I love her, I'm going to make it as easy as possible for her because she got my baby girl. She just had them. You know what I'm saying? But show her that, hey, if you can show me what you've been showing me, this is going to be a beautiful thing. Now, Sidebarring the fact that she ain't had no bread. I knew she was fucked up. But in my mind, I'm going, she's young. I could mold the, the so look, the, let me ask you something. To, yeah. Let, let me ask you something. Do you feel that yeah. when a girl is not financially stable at the age that they're at, what how old was she? She's 27. She just okay. turned 28. Do you feel yesterday. that at 27 years old, by her not being financially stable? Is that a red flag? Do you feel that that's a red flag? Yes, it is. But let me say this, and we all fall victim to it because damn, bro, bro, phone must have. Um... Man, I was going damn. What I was making, she wouldn't say that thing was on me. So I'm like, damn, she fucked up. She do the little thing with her mouth, she no pussy good. But most of all, I'm gonna be for real. It was the way she made me feel. And then she should, well, her understanding all the shit, the baggage that came along with me, she made me feel like, well, if this bitch can deal with me, with all this shit I got going on, and still love me and still not fuck with other niggas, then this might be the one for me. You know? So I, right. I put the, the being broke shit to the side, which is ding, ding, rule number one, no, no. No, no. I know not to do it, but I did it. You know? And so I'm like, fuck it. I get her down here. I show her a good time. I let her know that, hey, you know, this is this is the possibilities that, that can be endless for you. If you bring whatever you go bring to the table, we win it. The bitch don't want to do shit. Oh, man, I set the tone. She get down here. She want to show her ass. I tell her, hey, look, you ain't paying no bills, but you got the AC running 24-7. Do she I clean up? Turn it down. Hell, this bitch dirty than a motherfucker. Look. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me explain something to you. I don't even care about being dirty because I'm so clean to where I clean up behind the bitch because I can't stand it, right? My thing is, how motherfucker that ain't got shit talking slick? Yeah. That's my pet peeve. Like, if I'm around my niggas and, I'm, and I ain't got nothing and my niggas always supplying the weed, the liquor, and try to get on my feet, I'm going to be humble, my nigga, because at least one thing I learned from my parents was, you know, you got to go through some shit to get to where you're going, but in the process, the bridges that you got to cross, you don't want to burn them. On the humble tip, I ain't paying for shit. You respect what he's saying and be attentive and say, well, damn, baby, at least answer me like, well, damn, baby.
baby. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, ain't no way in the world the motherfucking crib going to get 68 degrees in the summertime. If you run it, you're going to blow them up. I know she don't know no better. So I'm talking to her in a respectful way like, hey, baby, you got to, uh, you know, keep this motherfucker, turn this motherfucker off sometime. She, oh, my God, you so petty. You tripping. I'm, hold on, bitch. Hold on. If you pay the motherfucking uh, electric and the cable and all that, you can run that shit until the motherfucker just don't run no more. But right. that's not the case, bitch. Humble yourself. Respect me. I'm respecting you by talking to you like I'm talking to you. So then that's when the young shit started to kick in. And now I'm going, damn, I done fucked up. I didn't thought this good pussy in here and the way she was acting to get in. See, she knew me and my people was damn near straight, like, are they good? They ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I guess she was like, she done had the babies. I done offered her to come down. Now she like, nigga, I'm in here now. I got mail coming to the crib, nigga. I'm t- every time I get mad, I'm, bitch, get your shit and get the fuck out. She I ain't going nowhere. I'm on on, bitch. You know, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, this bitch got mail coming out. I gave her a key. I'm all, oh, what the fuck is oh, I you doing? Right. Key? You know. I did, yeah, I gave her a key, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, now I'm in a situation where I, I had to break down my 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 uh, situation to where it's like, now how can I salvage this? If I'm putting the bitch, the bitch got to go. That that That's first and foremost. She getting the fuck out. The question is, is what type of position am I going to be in when I put this bitch out? You see what I'm saying? I don't want the bitch to be uh, in a situation where, she got a stranglehold over my finances when I put out. So what I got to do is act like ain't shit the matter. Keep letting her dig herself a bigger hole, which that's because hey, my man, she gone anyway. But I have to stack some bread up before I kick this bitch out because I can't be in a situation where, you know, I didn't got finessed out. I brought me and my mom and about thirty thousand dollars worth of new furniture, making this shit crib comfortable for her. We spent seventy thousand getting the house remodeled. So we in the hole. You feel me? She ain't got nothing to lose. The only thing she gonna lose is a comfortable place to stay without paying no bills. But on the back end, when she leaves, she, hold on, let me put this nigga on child support. You know what I'm saying? All the bullshit, all the fuckery gonna start. So, you know, I have to play. Yeah, but so let me ask you something. Don't you agree if you were spending a lot of money, right? If you were spending Mm -hmm. a lot of money anyways, don't you think that depending on what type of female you're dealing with, wouldn't it be easier just to pay the child support? I, I grew, again, you talking to a man with six kids, so I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I have thought about that. Cause now, now let, me, let me say this. You're right. Because the bitch can go ahead and do something else besides what she already did, get into a fight with my sister, cursing in front of my mama, you know, and, I, and my sister like, this bitch got to go. One like, thing about it, this is what you got to realize. This is what you got to realize. Uh-huh. How long have you been with her? Four and a half years, five years. Four, four or five years. But we only been down here together for a year. Man, I brought her down here last year on my birthday. My birthday on the nineteenth of May. She came okay. down here on the. So this this is how I look at this is how I look at females. So, if you've been with her for a few years, she was yeah. having sex with somebody before that, right? Yes. So yes. there's you shouldn't you see how like you basically like put your whole life you like oh well we got to prepare for this we got to do this this and this, meaning that she is she wouldn't mind basically going to another person and another person, another person for another position or another position or another position. All it does is it takes four. But, but guy, they check ball at the top of the key. Hold on. Me being the, the age that I am and knowing her, her, her demeanor, her character, how she carry herself. First of all, a fat ass only going to take you so far. A fat ass with good looks is going to take you a little bit further than that. Well, this bitch, first of all, Ain't got no drive. She ain't got no humbleness to her. And see, there's some bitches out here that know how to be humble enough to a nigga to where a nigga will put up with some shit. A nigga be like, oh, this bitch respectful. She don't give me no problems. You know what I'm saying? This bitch is not that. So ain't nobody finna, first of all, you got two brand new girl, uh, twin girls. Ain't nobody, they gonna feed you hard dick and bubble gum. They, go, they ain't gonna get, do nothing but give you D&D dick and dynamite. Anything yeah, for they sure, ain't fucking for up sure. that corner. No, I know, so I know, I know that. that. Me and you both know that. that. But see, you, so, you got to so, realize, so, you got to gotta realize this go ahead, though. Go in a in a girl's mind, they feel like if they can get you, they could probably get somebody else similar. Right, that's true. Or you know, right. so you got to understand that 
you just have to let them even if they do go right. you have to let them fail because at the end right. of the day it's just at the end of the day as long as you continue to grow and get successful that's what really i gotta have some bands i gotta have some bands the bands that i didn't already tricked off i gotta have some of them back before that i kick the bitch out and she go file for child support you get what i'm saying i can't just take a total ill i get through the whole situation i'm already fucked you see i done fucked myself but in the process of me fucking myself, I got to salvage something out of this to where it's not a total loss. And if, and if I kick her out today, okay. now mind you, you now, now mind you, mind you, the bitch could go do something before my plan is executed and, and done. She could do something to where I'm going to just throw my hands up and be like, I can't deal with it no more. Bitch, you got to go today. It's exactly. over with. But, 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 but me being the type of person I am, I'm going... Well, if I could have, if I just put up with what I just put up with the last year with the bitch, and, it, you know, some of the shit shocked me. I don't put nothing past nobody, but some shit shocked me, like, right. damn, bitch, you acting like this? You know, like, like for real, this is so true, this, this is how you feel? So, in the process of me saying that to myself, I already said, yeah, this ain't going to work. The type of, I don't have time to get you up to speed to where I'm at at 40 years old. And bitch, you 27. I don't have the patience for that. I'd rather eat that shit with a knit needle than let a motherfucker make me lose my, my, my sanctity. You know what I'm saying? All it is is my mind, my peace of mind. And if I can't hear that, I ain't got nothing. Fuck all the money in the world. If you don't have a peace of mind, what how you going to enjoy it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm at it where I'm like, okay, this bitch didn't, didn't trick me. I tricked myself. Well, let, what can I what can I do to not be the laughing stock of the community once I kick her out? Cause see, my sister, my mother is one thing, but then all my niggas that was sitting up telling me like, man, you finna fuck with that bitch and leave me cold and go take this bitch down there, man, that bitch and her and her sisters and this and I'm like, man, she different than us. You know, you want to make excuses for bitches because all oh, you know already fucked up and and went and went in the pussy run, got her pregnant and all that. So they ah, they nigga, you got her pregnant there. So it's like. Oh man, she decent. You know, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to bullshit the bullshitters. But they see what's going on. They your friends. You know, they telling you in the wrong. Like my own cousin told me, like, cause I know, I know the bitch fucking like crazy. I know they, they all some squirters. The, 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 all the sisters, the mama, they all squirters. You know what I'm saying? We sitting up talking about the shit, and I'm look, I'm looking like this. I'm, look, look at me. I'm, oh man. So I'm like, damn, I didn't, I didn't trick myself. Over some good pussy, but I'm in it now. Once you win the fight, you in the fight. So, like I say, I can't do nothing but make sense of it. You know what I'm saying? And try to and try to establish myself to where when I kick, when I tell a bitch to kick rocks, she the little child support she getting, it ain't gonna make me no never mind. You know what I'm saying? But then if I just kick out today, the little bread I got saved. You know what I'm saying? Well, how can I? How can I? Um, cause, 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 granted, I wanna out the day I say she gotta go. I'm getting a moving truck and, and, and moving us shit out with some professional movement. And I'm getting professional So she won't even think I'm staying there no more. Move my shit right back and she out of there. Just so she won't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not set up no more. There's too much information to the bitch. So no. So me. look, this is the thing, though. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing about... Oh, Look, ahead, this thing about the relationship thing like i mean i'm pretty sure you kind of know what you got yourself into so you know what type of female you're dealing with but at the same time um like i feel like when girls put themselves in those type of positions bro you know what i mean um they'll lose their mind if you know like it's like okay she's she, she's 27 she had two kids by you right now right. If she was staying with you and she probably feel like, okay, well, what I'm going to do is the kids, this, this, and this. Now, it's just like, you know, a lot of people go through that type of stuff. But, you know, you want a motivated girl that's like literally can like do something that's that if something happened to you, this all this all that this shows me. Right. It, it shows me that if something happens to you, you know what I mean, that she can't stand on her own. That means she have to find somebody else around your age who will be willing to move her in and take care of her because she can't stand on her own two feet, which means she's not like a hustler. You know what I mean? Right. 
Right. And that's what we got as as men. We got to like look for like girls that's <laughs> motivated in the hustling space, hustling area because looks really can't get you nowhere. There's plenty of girls that look great. It's a it's a girl that's turning 19, 20, 21, 22 that looks great, but don't have no hustle. You know what I mean? And most of the time, right. the girls who are, you know what I mean, you know, got good jobs or I'm real hustlers that look good. That up. She went to school. She went to school for cosmetology, uh, makeup, and all right. that. Bitch got ordered all this shit. I, I spent, nigga, I spent about twelve thousand dollars since we've been down here on Amazon ordering the lights or lamps. She's supposed to turn the basement into a, a, a hair salon. This bitch at a daycare. Damn. You see what I'm saying? Like no, no, no determination. Then, then work, work, work a few hours at the daycare. Come home, and I'm telling her, look, I'm gonna start this new job at a uh, Ford. You know, I'm going to need you to goddamn make sure I'm woke. See, who's going to wake me up? I'm alone, bitch. You make $15 an hour, bitch. You know, I'm going to be making $33 an hour. Shut the fuck up and wake me up. See, and I got to I gotta change the babies. Look, quit that motherfucking job, dude. You're not paying no bills. No way. The fuck is you talking about? Like, like, like it's just, you know, and, and I just, I feel like this new generation of women, they, it's just, they fucked up. The women that's raising them is fucked up. They not. They might be shown by their father how a man should treat you, but the woman is not teaching their daughter. So, number one, and how then to be you got to think. Sometimes they not even shown by their father. Their father might not even be around. Yeah, right, right, right. But I, I've been meeting a lot of these young bitches. You could tell their daddy, you know, was in their life, and, and you know, showed them all. Don't let no man do this, or don't let. No man. I hear some young bitches that I fucked with previously. But for the most part, you got a lot of scorned women. Raising these motherfucking bitches, and they telling them what they better not go for and what they better do, and if a nigga do this, you better. But hold on, mama, that might not suit your daughter. What's suiting you might not suit your daughter. Yeah, then you know slick shit like the mama calling me. Oh, you have been gone for three weeks. I said, hold on, you know I'm grown. I say this is between me and your daughter. I said, but did your daughter tell you she put a tracking device on? Me? I said, so she knew where I was at for the three weeks. You know, she, oh, she ain't tell me. I said, yeah. I said, most niggas will crack a bitch head open for doing some shit like that. I said, I, I act like it wasn't nothing wrong. I said, I talked to her sensibly. She got smart with me. I asked her why she did the shit. She talking about because I'm a nasty, dirty, dick-ass nigga. I said, but, you know, you don't have no, no get up and go to go try and find a decent paying job to help out with these bills. But you got enough time to put tracking devices on me. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got yeah. enough time to make sure your business get off the ground. You ain't got tax ID numbers, LLCs incorporated for a hair for a hair business or whatever the fuck you're doing with lashes, whatever the fuck. But you ain't got enough time to get that going. But you got enough time to see where the fuck I'm at and who I'm fucking. You know the bitch's priorities be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like I told her, bitch, if you was getting some money. You wouldn't have to worry of where I was at for three weeks trying to get the bread up to finish paying the bills here and where I got somewhere else. But since you don't get no bread, I got to leave for three weeks. What fuck is you talking about? The so let me ask you something. You let, me ask you, let me ask you something. Do you think, like, let's say if, let's say if you, you guys are talking, right, and she said she was going to, mm -hmm. let's say if she said she was going to move on, do, you, do, do she... Oh. Listen, let, let's say if she says she's going to move on. I can bet you that she guarantees that she's going to find somebody better than you. By all means, go right ahead. Because I already got somebody better than her. No, I'm saying, that just, this is this what I'm saying. This is what, this is just what women do. Like, all women, I notice. Um, if you notice that they always, for some reason, they get a new guy, but for some reason, they always end up in a similar type of situation. Whether the person has money or not, right, and most of the time it'd be worse, you know what I mean, because they end up making the mistakes or whatever, you know what I mean. But they always end up in that type of situation, but which is great you for us, know why I huh? Because I feel like you know I got a sister, and one thing my sister told me a long time ago is a lot of females won't. That's why they going with the 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 premise, you know. Oh, I want every relationship to be a fresh new start, a new beginning. Well, bitch, uh, <laughs> once that new nigga find out what the old nigga already knew or already knows about you, nigga, the only thing going to save it is if you 
start drinking cum <laughs> instead of spitting it out. Because, see, that might be his niche. He might be like, oh, the bitch drinking my cum. Well, that's why every nigga, it's impossible for every nigga to make one woman feel the same way. You see what I'm saying? Because every nigga going to make a female feel different. And it's all about comfortability. So now, if you want comfortable where you wouldn't have to pay no bills, and you with the nigga that get you pregnant, well, then I can imagine how you go act with a nigga that ain't got no ties to you at all and ain't talking about, hey, you can stay here for rent free. Nah, he's going to be like, bitch, so, uh, when you look, I've been taking Are you booking your flights? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> are you booking? Are you paying for your shit? Yeah. See, uh, nah, well, see, uh, oh, no, nah, this ain't going to work. You know? No, that's yeah, that's so, definitely something I do. Because yeah, so I feel like when you don't got no ties to him, it's like, uh, yeah. See ya. Right, right. See ya. Right, like you ain't got to take the baggage. The only reason I took the baggage is because I fucked up and got her pregnant. Yeah. So I had to make sense out of it. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I didn't have to, but I, I felt like it was in my best interest. You know what I'm saying? You have to put your pride to the side and say, look, on the chessboard, what is the best move left? I know... I ain't got no rooks or no motherfucking pa- or no pawns left, but I got a knight. I got a queen. You know, I got to make this shit work for the best, you know, and try to win this shit. Now, look, when the odds stacked against you, and in my situation, the odds are stacked against me, and I got to fault myself because I let this bitch get too comfortable. I let her think that there is uh, n- no boundaries. See, her, her thing is now, she like, hey, we family, nigga. I, I had to tell the bitch the other day. I'm like, we're not married. I don't, I don't owe you nothing, bitch. Even if you, so like, even like, if you was married, that shit still don't matter. Yeah. Well, well, I think that you, I think I will owe a little bit more than the tell. Get your broke bum ass up out of here. You know, I owe a little <laughs> bit more than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'll probably be out to say, look, baby, this ain't working. We need to get a divorce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go your way, I go back. But right now, as we stand right now. Oh, it's get your bum broke ass up out of here, bitch. And the only thing that keep making me not just throw the bitch out is because I look into my baby girls. They're crying, you know. And I'm yeah. like, you know, bitch, you lucky, bitch. Like, like you for real, like, lucky. But this is what I'm going to do since you lucky. The little time that I that I can take, which I, me and my sister, my mother sat down as a team, and I said, look, how long can we stand this bitch? My mother's like, I wanted to go today. My sister's like, today. <laughs> So I'm like, well, fuck it. Okay, can y'all take 24 months? You know, like, can you can you can you bark, bear with me and give me 24 months with this bitch so I can stack some bread up real quick so when I kick the bitch out, you know, ain't shit change and I still want to go get my spider. I want to go, you know, that shit I had planned already that I was gonna be able to do because she with me and ain't no child support and all this shit. So it's like. Let me steal the cup. I want to go back to the You got to understand. I want to buy the the money that you were spending on her no. eating and paying for her everything. Oh, that's your head. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh, rules got set since since, <laughs> since she got a job now. Oh, it's, oh, oh you got to pay. Okay. You, you ain't got to pay no rent. See, and I'm, I, I want to tell niggas this. For all the niggas out there that got their own shit, own crib, I don't care if you your house paid for, if you're paying a mortgage, you got an apartment, you leasing, whatever the fuck you're doing. When a bitch walk through your threshold with some bags, instantly treat them like you treat your cousins, your friends. <laughs> hey, man, you got some rent? What you got on the rent? Because the bills don't stop. Once you let a bitch live for free, oh, is it hard to make her pay some rent. <laughs> she like, why? What the, I, I ain't got no money. Rent? What's you that? Know, I'm like, bitch, I ain't got no money. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Rent. You know, so, that, yeah, like, like everybody from here on out, Whoever, whoever walked through my threshold got to pay rent. They got the bag on. Okay. Hey, hey, you got to pay rent. You got to pay rent. And, 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 and you better hope that I, you know, and that's oh, all. I'd rather you go get your own shit. Yeah, but but my thing is, is that that <laughs> comes from, like you said, talking too much. I'm telling the bitch, oh, man, my crib, my mama crib paid for. She out. And I'm telling her I ain't got to pay rent. So she piggybacking off of that. She call, I hear one day on the phone with her mama. She, yeah, we ain't got to pay no rent. We ain't got nothing but cable. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like I tell you, you talk too know, much. You know, she don't even know and so now, now she, 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 and her man, she going, these motherfuckers got some money. But a bum broke bitch would think that. Bitch, we ain't got no money. Shit a little smooth, but we ain't got no money. And it ain't smooth enough for a motherfucker not to be working. So what the fuck is you talking about? You know, smooth is when you just wake up and ain't got to do shit. 
That's smooth. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got a couple million already put up in the bank. Ain't, ain't got a bust a move. You know, that's smooth. Smooth ain't, bitch, uh, we waiting on the check to pay the cable. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Right. Bitch, ain't no just free get-ups. You know what I'm so saying? The girl, so the girls... That's having it smooth, definitely. They don't right. have no even no room Ooh. to fuck up. They don't have no room. That's why I say, don't. And I don't care if you do got a couple million and the bitch know you in the mansion and it's paid for or whatever the fuck they thinking, bitch. I, it's a mortgage. What you got on the mortgage? <laughs> Bills got down. You ain't got to pay on no lights and no gas or nothing, but you got to pay on the mortgage. I'm struggling with this shit. Uh, so for you to come in here, it ain't gonna do nothing but get worse. So now, uh, if you want to come stay here, you gotta pay some rent. That's just the bottom line. You know, Damn. from here on out. But I let this bitch, you know, she like, yeah, we ain't got no rent. We ain't, the boy gets paid for. She she bragging the house. It, huh? Yeah, she bragging to her mama. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's a yeah. dumb bitch. But I'm thinking to myself, my dumb ass. So I, my I thing, thing is, if she know that she has to pay rent, she still got a job in the bank account. That's free money. Y'all should be right. balling. Right, she's been balling. But she lazy. And that's another thing. I had to tell I her mother. Lazy girl. Her yeah, and this is what I had to tell her mother. She... See, you, everything that, that happens in your relationship, I see that you, it's her fault. I said, nah, I said, that would be impossible if everything was her fault. I said, but I don't know how to put this. Um, your daughter's lazy. She see my, you see how he talks to me? I said, well, I don't know another a word or a noun or whatever the fuck. I don't know another word to use for lazy. You know, you lazy, bitch. I don't know no other way to put it. He always put me down. He always talking down to me. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm looking at the mom. I'm like, well, why is she lazy? I go to your house. Your house clean. Why? You know, over here, I'm arguing with the bitch about picking up clothes and picking up things. She just throw shit on the floor. Like, who the fuck? Uncouth type motherfucker. You know? This repugnant. Stupid shit. You know? And then when you say something to a motherfucker, they have the audacity to get an attitude. Like, yeah. like you inconveniencing them. Bitch, this is my lifestyle you, 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 you done walked into. I didn't walk into your lifestyle. We're not living in your house. We're living in my house. Why the fuck I got to change so you want me to be cool with getting out the bed and clothes on the floor, shoes lined up all against the wall, ain't got no proper place for them. I'm tripping over shoes. My mama come in the house. She wants to smell. I smell something. You ain't got the diapers on the floor because you too lazy to get up out Oh, my God. I hate that. You know what I'm saying? Just Listen, like, I, 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 I hate stuff like that. And then like tell that. me some shit like, and then tell me some shit like, well, if you see it, pick it up and throw it away. I said, bitch, it was already sitting there for 30 minutes. I didn't see it for 30 minutes. So that's where the smell coming from. See, oh, y'all so petty. Everything's a problem. In my mind, I'm going, I can't get wait to get rid of this bitch. You know, because you got to let her, I got to, like you said, I got to let her go out there and see for herself what niggas is putting up with and what niggas is not putting up with and see if the grass is greener for on the other side. Because in her mind, I know what she's going to say once she get out there. She'll be like, damn, I had it good. This nigga had everything laid out. The nigga was actually on his dean. The nigga was actually trying to show me something better than what I was used to living, uh, accustomed to living to. Bitch, I brought you from nice Minnesota to rough Chicago and you living better down here than you was living up there. Stupid, goofball, Jamal. <laughs> For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. just, you know, and like like what he was saying, Big Homie was saying some trill shit today, and and and, it, and it's hard to be uh, selfish when your phone, y'all phone going out. Nah, no, but listen, y'all, we gonna get back on this if y'all wanna um. You know what I mean? Be a part of the show or whatever and tell y'all story, man. Tap in, man, in the comments. You dig? Bro ass.